Hey guys, before this video starts, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. And also, turn on post notifications to get notified whenever I post a video. Also, be sure to join the Breaking Point group on Roblox. The link is in the description. In this mode, there are two roles, the murderer and the innocent. If you're an innocent, pay close attention to the gunshot sound. If guessed correctly, you can easily look around. I murder If you're the murderer, it is recommended to keep on typing in chat as it covers your votes on the voting round. I murder You should also shoot people who try to vote for you. You can also trick people by saying that you think that you saw the gun. Radio guy! He lie! If you own the radio game pass, you can use it to your advantage. The radio has a barrier so they can't shoot or vote at you. Breaking point is purely based on luck, but skill is also a factor. If you're the shooter, you should always shoot in secret. If you see two or more people who dress the same, you should also shoot them as they are probably teaming up.
Duck Duck Stab is purely based on skill. The easiest way to win is by having good aim and throwing your knife. Having good aim requires a lot of practice. You may miss a few times, but as long as you get the kill. To avoid getting spun, you should walk backwards and throw your knife at the same time. To win in Gunslinger, you have to have a good reaction time. There's also three patterns you have to follow when you draw your gun. That was the first pattern. The pattern may be tricky at first, but pay attention carefully. If you didn't see the difference, I'll replay it again in slow motion. For pattern 1, as soon as you start walking, it takes 1 second for you to draw your gun. Pattern 1 is the quickest pattern and requires good reaction time. For pattern 2, it takes you 2 seconds to draw out your gun. For pattern 3, it's kind of like pattern 2, but you take an extra step. Learning all the patterns requires practice and has to be timed correctly. If not, you will get a cooldown. Once you have the muscle memory for all three patterns, you can easily win every round. Playing first person or third person is a personal preference. I personally play in third person by zooming out once with this mouse scroll wheel. To win in free-for-all, you must try to avoid getting spawned and use your aim to win the round.
To win in kill row, you should always keep your distance between players and use your aim to kill everyone. You can type dot join duck duck stab in chat to join the separate game mode servers. You can type dot riches in chat to see who has the most credits in the server. You can also type dot roll in chat to roll a dice. <laughs> You can display your knife on the table by going into the settings and checking the display knife option. You can also do that for guns as well. If you own the VIP Game Pass, you can display your knife on the table upwards. You can do so by checking on the Display Knife 2 option. There is a way to win on the arcade stack machine. I recommend to place the block right before the corner. And you should also enable AFK mode so you don't get teleported into the match like I did. You can fly on chairs or bodies by holding left click and jumping while moving forward. You can change your torso light color by going into the shop and purchasing it for 1000 credits. You can use the trade-ins to trade your items in to unbox the case without spending any credits.